Lisa welcome back so as you can see I am in my closet again and I apologize I know I've been kind of MIA here on YouTube just I haven't been doing any planned videos recently so I really apologize for that I've just honestly been trying to reorganize and clean up this closet I came on the last time and just did a, a quick video and I was kind of doing the same thing so I still haven't really completed it I have done some things but my work schedule is just kind of crazy so I don't really have a whole big chunk of time just to dedicate to doing this so I just kind of have to do it like little parts at a time when I get off of work or you know things like that and today I actually did have the day off but I kind of had to do a lot of errands and some other things so as you can see I don't have any makeup on. I'm just trying to get this done, so uh, I hope I don't scare you guys, but yeah. I'm just in my little natural element, no makeup, just these bum clothes, and yeah. So. so, the last time I told you guys I wanted to get rid of the black hangers that I had in here and exchange them all out for gray, and I actually did that, which was actually a lot of work. Like, that doesn't seem like it would take that much time and energy just to switch out the hangers but yes that took a lot of work because you know I'm just doing it by myself and yeah it just seemed like a lot of work to so, me. Here is my dumping ground kind of area so this is outside here in my dining area so here's all the black hangers no well, not all of them but here's a lot of the black hangers that I'm getting rid of and I'm going to give them to my coworkers, so at least they just won't get wasted. So I feel at least halfway good about that. And a lot of people actually said they wanted hangers, so I'm really happy about that. And then here's some shoes that I'm going to get rid of. And I have some more shoes. So yeah, this whole area is kind of like just my little uh, staging dumping ground. Uh, so that's a mess too. Here is what I did so far. So I did, like I said, change out the black hangers to the gray ones. So did all that, which was a task. I also did this side also. Okay, so I actually feel like I still have too many clothes. I didn't get rid of enough of the clothes. So for instance, like behind me right here, are my dresses and here's my dilemma guys maybe you guys can help me so i know you're supposed to have the rule of if you haven't worn something in a year or whatever the time frame is a year and a half you should get rid of it eliminate it out of your closet but here's my dilemma so yeah i kind of have i guess maybe this is considered a lot of dresses I don't know but anyway so I honestly haven't worn a lot of them this year but last year I wore quite a bit of them just because I these are more of a lot of these are some of my more formal or dressy dresses and things like you would wear if you needed to get dressed up so last year I did a lot more of that like went to luncheons or dinners or things like where you had to wear that type of thing but this year since my schedule is crazy and has changed I really haven't been doing that much of that so I haven't actually been wearing uh, dresses like this not that much where I have to get dressed up so yeah I haven't worn them so technically I guess I should get rid of them but I can't <laughs> because I don't know maybe next year or later on in the year that might pick up a little bit more and then I won't have the dresses and I don't want to have to go out and buy any more you know since I have them I actually like them and I don't know what should I do guys so I don't know we'll see and I also decided to get rid of some shoes so as you can see like I have some spaces in the shelves it it was better <laughs> or more spaces but I kind of filled them in and kind of moved stuff around so as you can see like this whole shelf was basically empty but I kind of temporarily put some stuff on it I have a few space down here and down there and over here and up there so so I'm actually planning to get rid of even more shoes so 
Then I'll have even more spaces, which I will be really happy about. These, I think I'm gonna get rid of these YSL tribute sandals, even though I love them. I just really don't reach for them anymore. But when I put them on my feet, I just really like them, but I don't really think uh, they're in style on that much anymore. No. They're a classic shoe. They will most likely come back in style. I'm not saying that they're out of style, actually. No. But yeah. Platforms are not really in. I haven't been reaching for them. I can't even remember the last time I actually wore these. I really love these shoes. They're super comfortable, believe it or not, for luxury or high high heel shoes they are some of the most comfortable shoes like for real believe it or not even though they're high and i also have a black pair that i don't wear and i also have a red pair <laughs> so i might get rid of those but i really love these red ones just because they're more of a they're not a straight red they're more of a metallic red and the last time I wore these, I believe I took you guys along. It was to the Louis Vuitton Christmas event, private event, and I actually wore these. So I did actually wear these. That was the last time I wore them, but before that I hadn't worn any of my tribute sandals for a long time. Uh, what else am I gonna get rid of? I'm gonna, I think, get rid of these. Christian Louboutins, haven't worn these, and what else uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of these purple ones even though I love them so much they're like these snakeskin detail suede all right so I'm just gonna talk to you guys here so yes this video is gonna be random and just all over the place it's another unplanned video so yeah I'm just so as you can see I still have a mess down here and I have these coach boxes here normally I like to keep a lot of my designer boxes in case I want to resell them but I'm going to get rid of the coach boxes I don't really feel that I need them so like these are the shoes that I purchased and the bags and some of the other boxes I don't really need the boxes so I'm just going to get rid of them and I have my never full this is the GM down here which I really don't like it on the floor that means you're gonna be broke and you won't have any money if you know that old wives tale but anyway I just kind of moving that bag I don't really use this bag too much I just use it when I travel basically uh, the GM size I like the MM size for every day but that's that that is trash and I got rid of some other shoes that were down here and some i'm gonna get rid of that coach box and what else we're gonna keep a few of the black hangers mostly i want just the ones that have like this double kind of tier thing on them use them in my other closets just a few of them and give the rest of them away so yes i do still have um you know more hangers there and a whole other box of hangers there and I actually have these little shoe things in here. I'm stretching these shoes. I'm going to see if I am going to keep them or get rid of them. We shall see. They were a little bit tight. So I'm trying to stretch them out. And this is a shoe stretcher, guys. So I don't know if you've ever seen these before. Let me put you guys up here. All right, so... Man, I look bad just looking at myself in the camera. But anyway, yeah. So in here, I have this shoe stretcher in here to see if I'm going to keep these shoes. They were a little bit tight. Like I said, I've been trying to get rid of some shoes. So I'm just kind of trying on certain shoes. And these just kind of felt a little bit tight. So I got this shoe stretcher which is specifically made for high heels and it's called the Forme. I'll put the name of it in the description bar below, but you've probably seen this on Instagram. It pops up, so I actually purchased them. Maybe I'll have to do a review on them, but they are specifically made for high heels. As you can see, they like have an angle and you can also use them on flat shoes because they lay flat. So, 
but these go up like this so you can use them for high heels and this little part pushes in so it's easy to get inside of the shoe if you want it to go inside of there they make a left and a right one and it kind of like is this and so you can push it down make it bigger or smaller and then you just stick it in the shoe and the thing I like about it is like it has that little button there so it fits nicely in there and then you can push this down and you know stretch your shoes so you don't have to wear them trying to break them in and be in pain because I don't like that I don't do that <laughs> uh, if I can help it I just like to stretch them out a little bit and these really help so that's what I'm doing to this pair and to another pair because these are kind of tight like kind of on the toes so we shall see what else do I want to talk to you guys about the Nordstrom anniversary sale so who bought something from the Nordstrom anniversary sale I actually promised myself for making it a point not to buy anything from the Nordstrom anniversary sale because I just didn't need to buy any more stuff like you see I'm trying to get rid of stuff and actually I was on this text thread again with my friends and they were going back and forth about the Nordstrom anniversary sale so yes I still didn't I was like I'm not buying anything and I was actually pretty good I did succumb a little bit uh, to the pressure I just bought a few things which I will show you guys what I purchased but anyway that sale just seemed too crazy and too stressful just listening to all of the stuff they were talking about with orders being canceled stuff being out of stock like I just couldn't deal I'm like this sale is too stressful like I can't but anyway they talked about these right here which were a pair of leggings from Spanx and these were actually on the sale so I succumbed to the pressure to buy these. They are the faux leather leggings and they have really really good reviews so I picked these up and it was actually recommended like a lot of people recommend that you go a size up so I got a medium and I tried them on and the medium was just like too big for me like it was like too much room well they're leggings obviously so they will still conform but they still feel like they were a little bit too loose so anyway of course it was a sale and then the smaller sizes were sold out near the end of the sale I happened to look again and they did have small size available so I ended up exchanging them for the small and the small fits better actually they still feel like they still have a little bit more room um, maybe I could have got the extra small but I don't know and I'm not even like small right now like you guys know I kind of gained some weight as you can see and I still haven't lost all the weight that I want but anyway these are a small and I actually got these other ones which are the moto ones so they have like little detail on them and I got these in small also because the mediums were too big but yeah these were not on sale but they look cute so I decided to pick those up only other thing I picked up I purchased some candles which were a gift for someone and I got this from Too Faced so yes <laughs> this is literally something that I was not supposed to buy did not need as you guys know uh, anyway this is an eyeshadow palette and if you've been following my channel for a while you guys know I'm not supposed to buy any more eyeshadow palettes because I have enough I mean like how many eyeshadow palettes could one person need I don't need any more eyeshadow palettes um, I just don't but anyway Lady B here on YouTube was talking about this and it just looks so pretty so I decided to purchase it and let me show you what it looks like so it's just really pretty it has these nice glitter shadows the colors are really really pretty they're even more pretty in person I actually wore this to the Jill Scott concert the other week or last week 
and I actually got a lot of compliments on it just from strangers and stuff so anyway very very nice palette the formula is great the glitter didn't like flake off and all that other stuff but I really really like it so yes Lady B convinced me to buy this and it also comes with this lip gloss which is kind of a rose colored shiny lip gloss and it comes with a full size of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara which is one of my holy grail mascaras. I absolutely love it. So yes, I picked this up. This was actually a great deal. It's $49 and I believe usually like at Sephora and other places just this palette alone is $49. So with the sale you actually got the mascara and the lip gloss included so that was a great deal and then lady b had the nerve <laughs> to return hers talking about she didn't need it that's why she returned it and i'm like okay girl so you convinced me to buy this palette that i didn't need and then you return yours because you didn't need it. So anyway, I told her how pretty it looked and how it worked with the concert. And I got all these compliments on it. And then she went and bought it again. So <laughs> anyway, yeah, she went and bought it again. So yes, this is a really pretty palette. So I really like it. But I'm not buying any more eyeshadow palettes. Please don't let me get any more eyeshadow palettes, please. So I actually went to Nordstrom yesterday and I picked up a little something which was this and this is from Frederic Mal and it's just a little tiny something and it's just this right here and of course it's fragrance and this bag smells so good and of course they gave me a bunch of samples in there this is what I picked up it's called portrait of a lady it's one of their more popular fragrances and actually i used to not like this on me it used to smell so bad on me but i don't know somehow yesterday it just kind of magically worked and i got a sample of it and i don't know it just worked but before i hate i didn't like it on me so I don't know what happened, but anyway, I picked this up, and what this is is basically just a 10 ml travel spray. It comes like so, and yeah, it's just a sample. Sample. It's not a sample. It's a travel size. So I actually purchased that travel size because I recently picked this up which I posted a picture of this on Instagram and people asked me where I got it from. So that's where I purchased it from. I purchased this from Nordstrom. What this is, is basically just a case for the travel size. This one is Carnal Flower, which is like my favorite Frederick Mal scent. I absolutely love it. It has the scent of tuberose in such a great, soft, beautiful way. One of my favorite favorites. I love it. And um, as you guys know, I am obsessed with the scent of tuberose. And as a matter of fact, I am burning a tuberose candle. It is Diptyque's tuberose. And I absolutely love it. So as I was saying, I saw this on the website during the anniversary sale this was actually not on sale but people asked me where I got this from and I did purchase it at Nordstrom so basically just this little red case is just a case for it and it's magnetic so you just put the little travel spray inside of here and this set actually came together as the fragrance and the travel this little case came together in a set and if you ordered it online they actually gave you a large sample size of two frederick mal uh, fragrances so it was a really good deal and this whole thing with the fragrance and the case costs i believe 83 dollars i'll put the information below but yes this whole package case is 
exclusive to Nordstrom. Yes, you can buy this little red case separately if you want from other outlets like Saks or Neiman's, but the case by itself, I believe, is like $43 or $45, something like that. And then you have to pay for the actual fragrance, the travel size by itself, which I think is like 70 something dollars. So just getting this in this little kit, you get this whole thing for $83, which was actually a great price. So that's why I purchased it in this whole kit. And I just wanted a travel spray outside of the big bottle that I already have. It was such a great deal. I had to pick it up. So let's see what else is going on that's new. Um, I know. So I actually purchased something that another thing that I promised myself I wasn't going to buy. But I succumb to the pressure again. And I'm going to blame this on Pink Butterfly. I can't remember the last number. She has numbers in her Instagram and YouTube handle name. But I'll put it on the screen here. But anyway, she just kept showing this and kept showing this. And so, yes, I had to go buy it. So right now I have it in this little space that I kind of cleared off where it used to have shoes. So... Yes, I purchased these Kelly inspired clear jelly bags and yeah, I promised myself I wasn't buying this, but um, yeah, I bought two of them. This one is the small size and this one is the medium size and they come in all different colors and I was really tempted to buy the color ones, but I don't know. I just have a specific purpose in mind for these just to get into stadiums and events where you have to have a clear bag so yeah you guys know i already have some but these are just cute and i believe you can correct me in the comment section below but i don't believe that the colored ones are stadium approved because it has to be like clear where you can really see through it so i i read i think that the colored ones are not considered stadium approved because of that so I just got the clear ones because that's literally what I specifically kind of want these for unfortunately had to get it so I'm really <laughs> blaming her I'm really mad at you for that but anyway at least they were under $30 so that's not that uh, big of a deal but still uh, anyway. what else do I want to talk to you guys about oh I know I have something new that I wanted to share with you guys so I have to go get it though I know you guys this video is like all over the place just so random and I didn't plan it out at all so just forgive me it's just yeah anyway so let me go get it all right so I'm back so this is what I have it is from Gucci and if you've been watching my channel for a few months, you guys know I uploaded a video on a pair of Gucci shoes that I purchased and I was a bit conflicted about them just because it was right at that time when Gucci had that whole sweater gate fiasco of the racially insensitive sweater that a lot of people felt was racially insensitive and then they took the sweater off the market. But... Anyway, uh, Gucci actually just recently hired a diversity chief. So that is a person that will make sure that Gucci is hiring people of multiple races and ethnicities and different backgrounds and so that they won't have this problem again. And so, yes, I have a something in this Gucci box and let's just see what it is. Kind of hard to do this standing up <laughs> but uh so you can see i have some dust bags here and as you can see i have something that probably looks very familiar and they are let me just set those down they are a pair of gucci shoes so yes these look very familiar because they are basically the same shoes that i talked about on that video that i'm talking about and they are these right here <laughs> so on that video i talked about these gold ones that i picked up and actually i have a light right here so it's kind of drowning out 
the color but they are the most beautiful gold pair of loafers and they're like the shiny metallic glitter like but they're not actual glitter so like the chunks of glitter won't fall off they're more like a foiled metallic material and at night they look so amazing i always get so many compliments on these shoes and at night the light just hits them and they're just so amazing so these are just my fun festive i don't know just kind of funky out there just as my husband calls me when i want to be extra he calls me that's like my nickname for him i mean his nickname for me is extra but anyway um yeah these are my extra shoes and it's a name that i kind of earned during the remodeling of this house but that's a whole nother uh conversation <laughs> but anyway these are my extra shoes and they are actually some of the most comfortable designer shoes that i have i absolutely love these shoes so i said actually on that video that i love them so much that i actually wanted to purchase a silver pair and so I actually did and that's what I have here. So these are basically the same shoes in a beautiful silver metallic. And I love that these have still have the gold on them. So you can still mix the metals or still wear gold or you can still wear silver because it has like a gold GG here. And you know, they just hit the light so beautifully at night. They're just so funky and fun and festive. So my little extra shoe. <laughs> all right guys so i think i've rambled on enough so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me allowing me just to talk and ramble on on this totally disconnected all over the place video so hopefully i'll be able to get back to doing more normal videos soon uh hopefully my schedule will just allow me to do that but anyway thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it my name is lisa if this is your first time here on this channel i do discuss luxury fashion beauty fragrance and travel so if you're interested in any of those things i would love it if you subscribe to my channel and you can always click the bell below so you'll be notified each time i upload a video here all right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye. I am going to put my new Gucci loafers here. The silver ones are there, and the gold ones.